1976 Ford Grand Torino replica from Starsky and Hush. This is just still one of the coolest TV cars today, and we have it for you on this latest episode of Car Bus Unboxing Reviews. But first, we want to thank its owner, Darren Monteverdi, and the International Movie and TV Vehicle Owners Association for, well, letting us check out this really cool car. Thanks. This is the one from the original show, from the Ben Stiller remake. Well, awful movie that we're right. Out. Well, of course, in the Ben Stiller remake with yeah. with also uh, Owen Wilson, Starsky and Hutch, uh, they did use a Ford Grand Torino, but it wasn't this one. But this was like I won't even call it so much as a replica. This is more of a limited edition because Ford actually built a thousand limited edition Grand Torinos like the Starsky and Hutch, when the same colors and the same exactly. features and all that stuff. You got it. Um, it was just so popular. Now, for those of you who don't know. The original Starsky and Hutch TV show ran uh, from for four seasons, from 1975 until 1979, and it's really popular. And it got before we were born, though. Well, before we were born. Well, uh, I don't know about you, you're older than me. Yeah, I was just about born at the end yeah. of that. But, but um, we were born in 2004 when the uh, I was when the uh, TV or the movie came out. Well, I haven't seen that. No, nah, me neither. Not a big fan of. Stuff. Well, let's listen to the engine here. What I love about these big cars from the 70s, rear wheel drive, that was a 351 Windsor V8 engine with the full master dual exhaust and the slot matic, uh, mag wheels. It's, I mean, they just don't make them like this anymore. Like, check out those bumpers. Those Hang on, big is that, bumpers. what about the uh, police siren on the top of the Well, we remember, Starsky and Hutch were cops. So Does that come is, with it? I mean, the, 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 No, the, this is... No, Darren did this because he just outfitted the car just to make it just like the TV show car. Uh, in fact, this has, when we check out the interior, it has a period correct uh, Motorola radio. Cool. They're and also, also that the right on top of the roof, it is period correct as well. Okay, it should so be. So it's like, this is what you found. So he's done a great job. How long has he had this car for, do you know? A few years. I mean, look, he's, oh, and there's so many people who just love these TV shows. They grew up with them. Just kind of like with the Dorian Time Machine. You, you, this guy, Darren, he sounds it. like just a big kid, basically. Basically, yeah. You know, just like, I love the DeLorean time machine. I want a DeLorean. It's like you're, you're you do, driving yeah. your childhood dream. And for many, this is what it is. I bet he's got a permanent fixed grin on his face whenever he drives this car. Oh, uh, well, of course. So, again, Ford only built a thousand of these replicas. And it was just because it was so popular with the show. And, of course, they all sold out. And, it, again, look at the size of those bumpers there. Yeah, That's it's all a chrome. huge car, really. The back. It, it is big. And this is a coupe. Right. Now... Believe it or not, this this same platform underpinned the Ford Thunderbird, the Mercury Cougar, and the Ford Ranchero, also all big cars. Now, this was in the late 70s before things started switching to more front-wheel drive. And that's, this is a time when people had no idea they were driving such big cars. They thought it was the norm. Well, Americans These were just, just normal-sized like, cars for them. Well, Americans just wanted big cars because, you know, that's There weren't as many cars on the was. road. Yeah. Roads were big. Distances between cities are Huge. Right, exactly. So have big cars to cruise in. And also, stuff like this Ford, this was made in America, in Chicago, uh, the manufacturing but, facility there so in Chicago. Those are special wheels, right? With the, with the replica, with the special edition or not? Yeah, those are those are period correct. Magnum if you look 500. At the, right. And if okay. you look at the, the TV show car, this is a dead ringer for it. In fact, it, this car's nickname was the Striped Tomato. I like that. Which is cool. But actually, it was in an episode where it came up with it, but the show's producer, Aaron Spelling, sarcastically called it a striped tomato when they were checking it out. So and then it made it way into the script. Right. So you got a front bench there. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. I love those front benches. You don't make them anymore. This is the original Houndstooth uh, bench seats, just like the ones used in the first season of the show. The, um, the siren, he can't use that legally, surely. Probably not. But police wouldn't mind. Well... They'd still pull you over. They'd pull them but then over, they have a check chat. out the car, yeah. Then he'd like, let them have a drive, and they'd be all then happy. Then maybe send them for a psychiatric evaluation. Like, You're not a cop. Take, take the car for a drive, boys. Right. I'll wait here. That normally works. Oh, I like the stitching in here oh, as well. It's so they, the this is the type of stuff when they paid attention to. I mean, attention to that's not leather. Yeah. That's all vinyl. That's awesome. I love that's vinyl. It's so cool. Yeah. Oh, I love it, yeah, design. just nice. like in the rear seats. But actually, the, be the bench seats, uh, at least up front, they were changed to bucket seats in later seasons because the actor, David Soule, just uh, sliding all over the place, yeah, right? Yeah, he, he complained that when they were driving, he was sliding. Yeah, of course so he they is. needed to do something. Yeah, it's, well, you know, it's like a stunt car. Almost. Yeah. And you can really appreciate the signs of it here when he comes Notice, like, the, the roll-up windows. Nothing is electronic. Yeah, of course oh, not. I love it. 
It doesn't break. That's the best part. Yeah, easy to fix if it does. Yeah. Oh, and there's that period correct Motorola radio with the size of those. Oh, that. right. Cool. Yeah, that is cool. I mean, this was high tech stuff back in. That's high tech. Se- well, back in the seventies, not anymore. Now it's just vintage. Where's my eight point four inch touchscreen? That's what I want. Oh, yeah. Well, you're not going to get it here. You should have retrofitted one of those bad boys. Nah, that would ruin it. No, I'm joking. Having this the Motorola awesome. was a nice oh, thin steering wheel. That. No airbags. Nah. You saw sure you're going to smash your head into the air <laughs> into the steering wheel. Just don't crash. You'll be fine. Well, you don't want to crash this car anyway. But man, look at that front bench. It's so comfortable. You got your three-speed automatic there. Three speeds. Yeah, that's Ti Chrysler mean. today is building nine-speed automatics. Ten speeds as well. Ten right? speeds on the right. horizon. Yeah. Yep. I, yep. That's absolutely right. Uh, yep. No uh, touch screen there. You just have your old AFM radio with those big knobs. So, what other things are there on this car that? you know, alludes to the fact that it's something a bit special from a movie. Well, first off, it's that exterior paint job. And in the U.S., everyone knows Starsky and Hutch. There, and must, be something, there must be something there from the, from the show that, um, that, you know, that's left its mark on the car. You can is that from the police light up front yeah. or up top? Yeah, there's some signatures on this car, aren't there? Ah, yes. We'll see those shortly. Ah, okay. Yes. That is really... You, I was going to wait for that just because... Uh, it's what kind of makes this car special, and a lot of people do that with these uh, limited editions and oftentimes replicas. They have the original stars sign them. Oh, okay, that's what we're going to get. It just, it just adds that little something special, and it makes it just even more, more difficult for you to sell it. So people that are watching the show, they're probably just as you know, looking forward to seeing the car as the guys Look, driving the car. Right, when this thing rolls up, all of a sudden like, memories yes, are, are going to come flooding back. Here's the striped tomato. As yep, I, as the striped tomato, it. but it's perfect. Look at the indicator lights, that's hilarious. Oh, I know. Just in the middle of the car. Oh, God. What's he doing there? Having a bump around? Yeah, I mean, it's got a V8. Rear wheel drive setup. I mean, this was just cool. You didn't get this in that. This yeah, didn't this happen is, in Europe. This is the not, quite, not, not nearly this big. 70s cool, this I mean, car. Man, and just, must just drank fuel, I'm sure. Yeah, I bet it did. No one cared, though. Nobody knows. Well, like there was a cents. gas crisis in, what, 73? Okay, so yeah, that was so too good people started car. recognizing, like, hmm. But yeah, still, crisis, a still, even by today's standard, it wasn't too bad, though, was it? A few nah, cents, few cents was, for the gallon. Uh, yep, yeah, there it is. Ah, here we yeah, go. The, the visor is signed by the cast of the show. Paul Michael Glazer, Starsky, David Soule, who was Hutch, and Antonio Farias, who was Huggy Bear. Huggy Bear. Was Huggy Bear. Bear. Oh, just look at those gauges. That's... You know, and they don't make coupes so much anymore. Right. Coupes this don't sell. Uh, Remember, what, uh, for a short time, they built a Nissan Altima coupe. Sure, yeah. it. There is still the Honda Accord and Honda Civic coupes, but it's just not the same. Like, you don't have a Ford Fusion coupe. You don't have a front bench either in the front seat. Oh, they got... No one does that anymore. No, they, actually, the... the I'd lap- have fun sliding around in that, though. I'm not sure I'd want bucket seats. I want to, like, slide, move around, fall over. I think the front bench, it just gives it more character. Yeah, definitely. Just, you don't character. have it. But actually, and they can get three of you in there as well. Oh, absolutely. The Ford Crown Victoria, which was discontinued yeah, about seven or eight years ago, you were still able to get that with a front bench. Could you get three in there? You could. A squeeze, I guess. It's a squeeze. You can get a child up there. Could you get Starsky, Hutch, and Huggy Bear in there? Did that ever happen? I don't think so. No, but I, don't I, I, I no, you, you can put Huggy Bear in I don't think they liked each other that much. So no, they not like at all. Squaw, squash in, in the front like that. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Got to have a monster trunk. Well, look at it from the outside. Of yeah. course, the thing is a it's monster. Huge. Probably put a few bodies in there <laughs> when they're resting. Huggy them. Bear? Yeah. Oh. That's nicely done. I mean... He's restored that nicely. Yeah, it's clean. No, 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 I don't see any serious rust no. problems. I mean, this car it, it is... It is well loved. Yeah, he's done. It's a good taken job. care of, and you, the, you know you have to do that with these cars because they're nostalgia, yeah. and it's it's just American culture. And he's looking after a slice of you know Americana and his youth. You right, know, you grew up watching this on TV, so imagine driving what you you know your heroes were uh, were, were driving on TV as an adult. Well, hopefully one day you can do that with DeLorean and have the same feeling. Oh man, I wish. And you, knowing me, I would actually probably give it like the the time machine. Treatment. Oh, you could have the full-on flux capacitor. I wouldn't go for the flux capacitor. But come on, everyone wants the nu- little nuclear reactor. Yeah, no, I, I love crazy. that white stripe. I haven't seen that sort oh, of design on a car before. 
I love it how the rear is sort of like... It's like a Nike tick. Yeah, yeah. In and reverse. N- Nike. I think you mean Nike. Nike. Right. As you say, yeah. Nike tick on the, on the right. side there. I like how, like, again, the front... Or, I'm sorry, the rear end is a little, like, higher up. It's just that... It's got personality. Yeah. And the characters just drove this car around like... You know, Starsky was his car. He loved it. And they drove it around like maniacs. But actually, they used four different filming models for the TV show. This, this one right here was not one of them. This was made by four just to capitalize on... Again, the show's popularity. Sure. And they sold, sold them all out. Oh, man, they all pretty sold. Quickly, I don't right? know how many of them are still around today, but you, I would say a fair number just because... The people that bought them. People who bought them, them, right, right. right. Now, if they ever sold them, hopefully that, the, the, that buyer knew what it was that they were getting. Most people would have, I'm saying, I'd guess. Maybe a few people just had a fun for a couple of years and sold it on. I reckon right. these would have changed hands quite a lot. Right, right. The ones exactly. in not so good condition, but the ones that are actually, you know, as good as this. Right, and it was those thousands that, that Ford built, it was just an easy moneymaker for them because essentially it was just giving them a special paint job. That's all it is, yeah. That's really... Red and white paint. Little things, and that was it. But, you know, they don't use enough regular cars in movies today. So he's got another pretty special car as well, which we're going to see. Yeah, that's point. coming up really soon. We don't want to tell you what that is just yet because, well, it's super cool. And I doubt not all of you have seen it before, but we're out of time for today. Everyone, thanks for watching. Any more questions for us, leave them in the comments section. And be sure to subscribe to the Carlos Unboxing YouTube channel. Cheers, then.